All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's, it's Demont coming back at you again. Um, got an order from Omni. Um, just because they had a really good sale going on. I'll get my knife out of my pocket. All right, so um, funny thing is I ordered... I placed this one order on the same day, and then right behind that, they told me that the bigger ro uh, range rollers were in. And so I ordered some range rollers. And this came... This came FedEx. The range rollers, I think they're coming today, but they came post office. Um, anyway, I just got some... I realized when I was fishing the last time, I didn't have that many um, of the Easy Shiners. And uh, you can get the Easy Shiners and... Um, I didn't have any the, the 3.5s. It's kind of the size I really like to throw. Um, these don't have that much tail kick to them. So they're not, I like the 2.8 in certain situations, but I like the 3.5 in certain situations. This strange random piece of tape. Um, and I got some Zoo 2s. I start to run low on some of them. And I know in the other video, I was sitting there trying to think about what my, my, what my favorite Ned Bates was. Um, I like the, the big TRD. I know they're the same size. They're, not, they're not, the, not the same length, but they're not the same size. But this right here, the Hula Sticks, is by far my favorite, especially in the summertime, my favorite TRD bait. Um, you can fix this on a Texas-style TRD head. Or you can fish on a regular TRD head. But this, in the summertime especially, will get you bit. Also, uh, I realized in my regular Kazashis, I did not have any of the solid colors. These are meant more for your, like, your stained water conditions. Um, I had somebody ask me about the Kazashi... Um, he thought it was more of a an eye bait, which means you kind of just reel it. Uh, a Kazashi is a twitch bait. It's always been a twitch bait. I mean, you can make it do some surface pops if you reel it really fast, but you need to work it kind of similar to a jerk bait. Not exactly the same, but you've got to find a little rhythm to make it, because it'll go really fast and make it dart. What I like to do is like this incorporate it almost like a glide bait, like dip, dip and stop. like couple fast reels with a little couple fast rod tip twitches. Make it a lip and make it stop. But a lip, make it stop. And when it stops, this bait does some, it's very erratic. It does different things. And the reason why I said the hunt house is not, doesn't have the same action as this, is the hunt house is a little bit thicker. It has a good action, but it's a little bit different. And it doesn't have tail feathers to it. So it doesn't have that, like the, I would have to call it a glide erratic twitch to it. It doesn't have like the, when you stop it, it doesn't go like off to the side and, and like push to the side and go like this. Uh, if you fish a Kazashi enough, you'll see what I'm talking about, especially if you fish it in clear water. Or just take it to a pool. Throw it in the pool and just work it around and see, it, just mess with it. That's the best thing I can tell you, just mess with it. I mean, I know you got in trouble when you were a kid for messing with it. But this is a different kind of messing with. Um, I had somebody asking me about the the zero. Um, I have two of these. I have their just the um, I think they're called the light bike special. Anyway, it's seven foot six, um, extra fast. Lure it says one point eight to twelve gram. I, got, I don't really throw that much lighter than that. And four to ten pound line. Um, have it rigged with the um, silver feather, which I am kind of thinking this is probably dollar for dollar the best BFS reel you can get or bait finesse reel you can get. Um, the Zero, I mean, it, has, it looks phenomenal. It has alkanite guides. It has, the tip is a little bit different. And you have like these normal like little green stitch guides here. 
But when you get to the tip, and I like that seven foot six and it's two piece. I take these on the boat with me. I take these on the bank. Uh, this rod is very sensitive, but it has orange tip and the tip's a solid tip. And it's a very responsive tip. Um, I work, um, if I'm fishing the Kazashi in open water, I'll use this rod. Cause I can make super, wow, just touch it. You just feel the vibration that's going through the whole thing. These are not your grandpa's two-piece rods. This is not the two-piece rods you go get at Walmart. These, the, China has done, I, I was, I was skeptical about two-piece rods when I first started getting this whole foray. The thing that changed my mind about two-piece rods is that Kai and Tetan. That Kai and Tetan by Tursanoia, and there's several other Tursanoia rods that are super phenomenal. And pure, pure fishing, Mavalos, a few other ones make some really, really good two-piece rods. There is some one-piece rods on AliExpress to be had, but you have to pay outrageous shipping for them. You're almost, by the time you buy the rod, and like the, with the shipping, you're looking at two, three hundred dollars. Also, the uh, I got this out of the out of the pack. It comes um, in a little tube. And it comes with the little the things on it. It also comes with this style hook hanger. My, I, this is my new one. I haven't. My other one's in, on the boat right now. I ain't got. I ain't bringing it in with me. I was going to have this one fully rigged up. I don't really. This is okay. They're, they're both few. This is a Fuji style hook hanger. I mean, you put it on the rod just like you do the other ones I showed you, and it kind of can push up and it can push down. Um, usually, I mount mine. Let me take this off so I'm not banging my pool lights up here. Usually I mount mine. I set it against the rod blank like this right here. And I mount it to the underneath right here. Is where I usually put mine in. But as you can see, it has kind of a short trigger, a very thin trigger, lots of blank access here. A really nice tie down. We're well, not tie down, but really nice lockdown screw. Um, I mean, just to give you a comparison, this is my new Mega Bass Destroyer. I mean, it's not as nice as this, but it's still pretty fucking nice. Um, and that's, this is the only knock that I have against the flight feather, not flight feather, the silver feather, if I can get it right, is the handle. The handle with the, the real seat. The real seat's a little thick. I mean, it's all aluminum reel, except for the side plates. The side plates are not aluminum. But, and this is a pure fishing, I mean, a pure, um, pure lure combo, or DMK. I like to call it DMK, because that's the main company. That's really who makes these, DMK. Um, but as you can see, I think I got the rod tube right here. Let me, this is a newer one. I ain't even got it out of the tube until last night. My arm is feeling a lot better. It still doesn't look that good, but it feels a lot better. And I've been trying to work out with it and doing some different things. Not trying to overexert it, just trying to do some different things. You see it's got the pure lure tape on it. What's kind of funny is the the, the, um, the Caesar tape looks very similar. Um, I am almost thinking they're part of the same company, but it doesn't say so on the website, so I don't really know. And I don't read Chinese, so. But this is what it comes in. Nice tube, it comes with um, a neoprene sleeve like this that has a zipper. It actually has a zipper on both sides, which I don't really, you only really need one zipper. It's a really nice zipper. And it's got a sleeve for your tip and your main sleeve for your rod. Um, I don't really, I use these sometimes if I'm, if we're going on a trip somewhere, which we ain't went on a trip in forever. Um, but if we're going to like the beach, I will put one of these rods. Usually I bring, um, I haven't brought this rod to the beach yet, but I'm very, very interested in getting down to the, the sounds 
and little inlets and really just working some different little small like Ned style baits or little little grubs and little small swim baits. I want to bring this rod and I want to bring the um, hacker rod or the um, Did I bring it with me? No, the, uh, uh, what's it called again? The, uh, the Tirsanoia Pure Flex. Um, I might bring all three of them and just bring, bring three BFS reels with like different setups with, uh, with braid and 10 pound, uh, fluorocarbon leaders or maybe even 12 pound fluorocarbon leaders. Uh, cause you, you never know what you're going to get into here. Uh, we have lots of red and black drum around the sounds. Um, so that's very, very intriguing to me to try that out, to see how good that's going to be. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I'm going to link this rod down below. Uh, I can't. I know there's a few of you guys asking me about the, the pure lure fishing rods. They're on the more expensive side, but you get what you pay for. I mean, they are very comparable. Um... I would say sensitivity wise, this zero. Gosh, it's hard to. They're very good. Let me just put it that way. And the way they go together, um, you shouldn't have any worries about fishing it. Um, I've lifted with my other zero, like three pound bass out. I never net them, I just pull them up. Haven't had a break, have no problems. I put my stuff through torture. It's because I want stuff that I can depend on. If I can't depend on it, there's no sense in me trying to fish it. I've signed back up for four tournaments starting next month. Um, it's going to feel really good to get back out there and tournament fish again. Now, I'm going to take you guys along with me on that. I need to start doing some pre-fishing. I want to get down. I think all this rain's finally stopped for a while. I want to get back down to the river once it gets to a manageable level. Um, start back having fun. All right, guys. So next time, tight lines. Y'all stay safe. I'll talk to you on the next one. Oh, I guess I got to do that. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like the, the video or whatever. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, I appreciate all you guys watching my videos, sharing this along with me. Y'all give me a lot of interesting comments. And a lot of you guys just share stuff with me. I'm, I like sharing stuff with you guys. All right, I'm in. Well, I'm sorry, guys. They're, they're calling for me. Um, I'll talk to you on the next one. Till then.